Welcome to this NFL History Recap. Over the course of the next couple of years, I will be bringing you a verbal recap of NFL games, especially games from the early era where we don't have video highlights of. So I hope you enjoy and learn some history of the NFL. We start back in 1920. The League of 12 Men, led by George Hallis and electing Commissioner Jim Thorpe, established ground rules for a common league, the American Professional Football Association, in Canton, Ohio, in early September of 1920. The team would, would schedule their the teams would schedule their own games, and at the end, the team with the best record would be awarded the championship. There would be no playoffs. Week one was just one game, and it occurred on September 26, 1920. From Douglas Park in Rock Island, Illinois, the Rock Island Independents, a member of the APFA, hosted independent St. Paul Ideals. The attendance was around 800 citizens watching the game, the first game of what would become the NFL. In the first quarter, Eddie Novak ran the ball in from about 10 yards out. Rue Bursella hit the extra point, and the Independents led 7-0. Then Fred Chicken ran the ball from 2 yards out. Rue Bursella hit the extra point, and the Independents now led 14-0. In the second quarter, Eddie Novak toted the rock from 2 yards out. Rue Bursella hit the extra point, and the Independents took a 21-0 lead over the Ideals. Then Jerry Mansfield ran the ball from 18 yards out. Rue Bursella hit the extra point, and at the half it was Rock Island 18, St. Paul 0. In the third quarter, Waddy Kuehl took the took an interception 82 yards for a touchdown. Rue Bursella hit the extra point, and then the Independents led 35 0. Then Jerry Mansfield ran the ball in from 5 yards out. Rue Bursella hit the extra point, and Rock Island led 42 to 0. In the fourth quarter, Waddy Kuehl finished off the scoring with a 27 yard run. The final score was Rock Island 48, as the extra point was missed, to St. Paul 0. Rock Island gets to 1 0. St. Paul is not a league member. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for Week 2 action in the coming weeks.